Hi everybody, Michelle Spencer. Um, I am the brand manager at Craft and Estate, division of Wine Boat Imports. And today I'm gonna to show you a super simple recipe for Frosé using Amble and Chase. It's a Provence style rosé uh, from Southern France. It's light, it's crisp. Um, you can see it's got beautiful color, um, great acidity, and it's got lots of bright strawberry notes, uh, white peach, raspberry, um, and red grapefruits. Fantastic, and conveniently uh, in a can. Um, they come in four packs, and if you follow the link below, you can uh, go to the website and find it at a local retailer near you. So, like I said, super simple recipe. Just is four strawberries, two teaspoons of honey, and two cans of amble and chase. Um, so, all you're gonna do is add your strawberries and honey to uh, your blender, and then one can of your amble and chase rosé. Um, and like I said, this is uh, simple, and you can mix it up a little bit, adding a little bit more honey, a little bit less honey to your taste, or I'd even um, decrease the honey and add uh, like an ounce of apple, and that's also delicious. But since not everybody has apple all around the house, you know, sometimes you just have to stick with what's uh, easy. So um, we're gonna go ahead and blend this up. Okay, so we've blended all of our ingredients, and we're gonna go ahead and put them in an ice cube tray, and then you pop that in the freezer for a few hours until it's frozen. And then we're gonna take the frozen rosé cubes and add them to the blender. And this is where you use your second can of Amble and Chase. And make sure it's cold, um, or else it's gonna melt the ice cubes, and it's just gonna be like kind of a mushy mess. So, quality check. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add this and then blend it up. All right, we've blended all of our ingredients together and now it's time for frosé. This uh, typically makes about two frosés or one large one if the mood strikes and no judgment here. All righty, frosés up. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious and refreshing.